Well, here at KHON, we all love puppies and celebrate puppies every day, but it's actually National Puppy Day tomorrow, and it's not just a day to play with our four legged friends. It was created to promote adoptions. But how do you know what kind of dog is right for you? Bridget Namata standing by with an expert. Bridget. Justin Cruz, thank you. With me right now is Wendy Ma and Bill. Bill is the grandparent yeah. of Fig. They brought Fig today, a corgi, five months old. Yes. Five months old. Okay, Wendy. Now let's say a person wants to bring or is thinking about having a dog part of the family. What should they know or what, what should they think about during the process? They really should think about the fact that this is a 10 to 15 year commitment on their side. Um, and it's not just the purchase price of the dog, whether it's an adoption fee or, you know, buying a, a pre-breed dog, but there is a lot of cost involved in having a pet, the food, the veterinary care, the training, uh -huh. um, as well as the supplies that go along, the leashes, the collars, everything adds up. So um, they want to know the, the financial commitment, the time commitment, and then there's always that emotional commitment. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, now let's say a person watching this is like, check, check, checklist, all checked, right? They want to get a dog. Mm -hmm. There are hundreds of breeds to there choose are. from. How, would, how do you know which type of dog is right for you? You know, some people, their passion is um, rescuing, and there's nothing wrong with a, a rescued dog. Needs a home, there's plenty that are deserving. The thing is, if you get a puppy, you don't quite know what size you're going to get if it's all mixed up. You know? okay. So just be prepared to know that um, you're going to take whatever size you get. Pure breed dogs, you're going to be able to determine what size, more likely, right? Fig's going to be small. You adopt a German Shepherd, you know, you're going to get a big dog. Um, but, you know, do you want to deal with the shedding, short coated dog shed, um, the, the long ones or the fluffy ones that, that needs grooming? That's another expense. Do you want to do that? Um, are you an active? family or person? Do you want that dog to go out with you, um, white walking, jogging, going to the beach? Or are you a, you know, calmer homebody? So you want to pick the breed in terms of your activity level. You're going to be really unhappy if your dog wants to be a couch potato and you want to go jogging. And he goes, right. I'll see you when you come home. Okay, let's place our attention to the adorable five-month-old puppy here, Fig. For people watching this thinking, I want a corgi. What should they know about the corgi breed? They're very active. Mm. Yes. Very very active. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that face, too. When you mean active, does that mean that they need to, they need incessant, you know, outdoor time? They do. I mean, all puppies are like kids. They need to burn off energy, no matter what breed or mix of breed. But some are more active than others. This is a herding dog. It, ha it has a job to do. And so sitting around and, you know, chilling on the sofa all day isn't really Fig's cup of tea. Um, so, you know, Bill will take him out and exercise him and run him a bit, and then he comes home and he's a much happier puppy in that respect. Um, but then there are, again, others that would like to be couch potatoes. The other thing with, say, a corgi breed, um, they're, they're, they're long dogs. Mm -hmm. So they, you do have to be careful with their bodies because you can really hurt their backs depending on what you do, how you do it with them. Um, and do you want to deal with potential back problems in the future? Every breed has a medical issue. Research that. Is that something you can deal with or not? Some people, I can't do cancer. And so some breeds have a not as good immune system. No. So you may decide, mm, I don't think I want to go that route with that dog. Wendy, we could just go on yeah, and we on. And we could just <laughs> keep the camera on this adorable corgi as much as we can, but we have to wrap. Thank you so much thank for you. all this valuable information. Bill, thank you for bringing thank Fig. You. Ooh. Justin, back to you.